So, this is my first video on YouTube. So what inspired me to finally step out of my comfort zone and make a video? Writing a fiction. This was a class taught at my college that focused on writing stories and fiction works. Now I signed up to take this class because I'm a writing major, but little did I know what I was signing up for because oh boy did things happen. On the first day of class, we were in a room in the English and Literature building. That ended up being the only time we had class there. We were then moved to another classroom across the bridge to the library building. Only to be moved back to the English and Literature building temporarily. It's like college really wanted us to exercise. Now on the first day of class, I was already in that classroom because I had a class before this one in the same room. I left my stuff right where it was and left to go to the bathroom. When I got back, all the chairs were completely rearranged into a giant circle. All my stuff was still sitting on a chair in the middle of the circle. It was like it was demanding attention. I moved my stuff over to one of the chairs in the circle and sat down. That's when I first met the teacher. She looked over at me and then pointed, Steven Universe! I looked up in confusion for a minute, only to remember that on that day, I chose to wear my Steven Universe t-shirt. I quickly smiled and started talking about the show, and pointed out some keychains I had on my backpack. While all this was happening, I remember being completely off guard. I figured that some people might recognize it, but I had no idea my teacher would. Apparently that was the same case for another teacher, but this story's not about him, so let's move on. Now during the course of three months in this class, we wrote three short stories. The f stories I wrote? Well, they were alright. In no particular order, there were stories written about a mermaid, college students looking for dragons, and one where a creepy dude in a black suit and red glasses stalks and nearly kidnaps a girl. Yeah, so... Some of the other students' stories were really fun to read. One of my favorite stories involved a couple at McDoodles. However, as horrible as the boyfriend was to his girlfriend, well, let's just say that it really did not end well for him. In a lot of these stories, sometimes murder- You know, I'm not really sure I'm supposed to say that word on YouTube, so I'm just gonna call it aggressive high-fiving. So there was a lot of aggressive high-fiving going on in some of these stories. When the method of said aggressive high-fiving didn't seem to work, I remember one girl shouting, I have a really great aggressive high-fiving idea! You know, if we weren't writers, I would really have to question some of the events that went on in these stories. But we are writers, so aggressive high-fiving is okay. When we weren't writing, we would read different stories and talk about them during class and analyze them to help develop our writing skills. I remember sometimes peeking over at my friend's notebook. While she was taking notes, she was also doodling pictures, and they're amazingly good. I remember seeing like a detailed crocodile, a dinosaur, and something like an alligator teapot or something. I think she wrote a story on that same teapot and some weird relatives. Besides actually learning things to help better my story writing abilities, I remember learning some other interesting details from classmates. Some stuff like hot dogs being beautiful, Jesus being the bread of life and not kale of life, and a lot of stories of how to get away with aggressive high-fiving. Are we sure we're not allowed to question the writers? I might question the writers. Early on in the semester, I remember the teacher giving us all a very... Interesting assignment. Outside of class, we were instructed to eavesdrop. I'm not even kidding. The idea of the assignment was to pay attention to conversations people might have to better understand dialogue and how to make it sound natural. Now, I completely forgot to pay attention to actual dialogue between people, but I do remember overhearing some interesting comments people would say. Do you actually know it, or do you know how to look it up on Google? I would say my intelligence has been insulted, but I insulted my own intelligence a long time ago. There goes Kelly in the room, roomy boy. Do you know anything about Shenoween? I know it's a huge frat party. No, it is not a huge frat party. Ooh, I could wear sweatpants and an oversized shirt and be a bum. You know, with all the stories written and shared, the intimidating moments when my story was being presented, and all the group interactions, I have to say, I'm really going to miss attending this class. This was a great class with a ton of amazing people. The stories written were fantastic, and I'm really happy I got to spend this class with a bunch of talented people. Y'all are amazing. Thank you so much for being a part of my college life and for all the fun memories. Love you guys.